YouTube, this is the Pokemon and Matt Skyfire, and I am bringing you a Pokemon 5th generation Wi-Fi bubble video. I am playing White 2 in this one, and the battle is against Epic Zombie Killer 1 from the Pokemon Wi-Fi Room As you can see in the team, I'm looking at two steel types, which I hate, well, actually three. That Feral Thorn with, well, a status move, Power Whip with all those defenses, and then you got Skarmory with Spikes, Possible Stealth Block, and Roar. Just to, uh, f you know, switch them out and get them hurt by the entry hazards. It's a go figure. And then you got Infernape and all the other team while I was just using the regular team. It's pretty much a go figure. Now, with the apparent knowing that Feral Thorn is going to come out first, I am going to bring in Dayton, which is my Miss Magius. And there's a reason why I put Dayton in first. You'll see why. Now, it goes for a Toxic, and I'm looking like, okay, it hasn't done any Entry Hazards yet. So, I figured the next move would probably be Entry Hazards. So, I was going to go do for Nasty Play anyway, but instead he switches out and brings in Skarmory. And that is a little bit of a funny because I am going to do a Nasty Plot again. And I did expect Spikes possibly from the Skarmory. So, what I do, I decided to go for a Thunderbolt, which is probably the best play because I would know this Skarmory has Sturdy, but usually 99% of all Skarmories have Sturdy, especially when you have a Skarmory that comes out of a Cherish Ball. The Spikes is going to come out, as I predict, and even though the Toxic it is killing me, I am going to at least get one Pokemon out by using a Hidden Power. Nobody knew what that, he didn't know what that hidden power was, but it was in effect, it was neutral effective, so there was no knowing what it was going to be. So he brings in Mew, and I am going to go for the instant play of the Shadow Ball, and with it being stabbed, super effective, and times four special attack, that is going to be a... One hit KO on the, the Mew, so that's two down already. But again, I'm dealing with that toxic damage, and uh, I was wondering who the next Pokemon is going to bring out. It happens to be Feral Thorn, and I'm glad of that because he didn't use Protect, and I am using Hidden Power, which now to tell you that Hidden Power is fighting. It is going to be super effective on Feral Thorn with the plus four special attack. It is a one hit KO on the Feral Thorn, and I was very, very happy that I got both Skarmory and Feral Thorn out, all from his mages. Thank you very much, Dayton. Now, with that, I get to bring in Eerie while he brings in my Lote. So, I figured there really, really much that my little tip was going to be able to do so I am going to go for a dragon dance and I was a little afraid of a skull to come out but instead it goes for a blizzard what kind of a my little thing is this blizzard on, a, on an eerie even funnier it switches out and brings in Jotian that was another bad idea because I am going to go for a second dragon dance this guy's let me set up plus, pluses all over the place. And now with Jolteon out, that brings me a good time to use an Earthquake. And that Earthquake is going to really, really, really help. And there's a reason why. Because I get the one hit KO the Jolteon. Which usually doesn't happen with Eerie, but it happened with Eerie. So Inferno is going to come out. Uh, nope. I'm at plus two speed. Even the friendly is not going to be faster. I did a waterfall. Um, it's actually very interesting, but I am going to be super effective, and I get a crit. Eri, you're doing this again. That's another crit. Oh, I haven't had those crits in a long, long time. And so his last Pokemon is my little tig, and I am going to go for the earthquake. Which I believe should take it down to half. This was before the damage. But. Eerie gets another crit. Oh god. You know. 
that right there, the one he KO on the Milote, good game to Epic Zombie Killer 1. But Eerie, you did it again. You know, I've had like three games, maybe four, that I've had two or three crits on Eerie, but this is ridiculous now. Two crits in a row for Eerie with Keizo, both Milotic and Infernape. Oh, man. You know, there's some reason why I, I put Eerie as probably one of the few Pokemon I don't play too much. Eerie's gotten a lot of hacks. But, I guess the 5 is how it's going to be. Even with old you Pokemon like Skarmory and Ferrothorn. Well, I guess that works out. Rate, comment, subscribe, give it a like if you like it. This is Skyfire, the Pokemon Manatee, and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time.